Hey guys, back here today with another video, update video for the Twilight Wars browser app series. So in today's video, we're going to be going over update 1.54. And this update focuses in on adding the ability to configure auto pass settings for when action cards are played and the timing windows that follow. So I feel like just starting on the video, um, maybe a bit of clarification here. So what this mean, what basically what this update is going to do for us, and we'll see it in a bit uh, with a demo video of the demo game, is players are now going to be able to um, pre-configure whether or not they want to pass on certain timing windows when an action card is played. So, so for example, um, Let's say you know you you don't uh, you don't have any sabotages and you're in the agenda phase and you just want to be able to quickly bypass um, whether or not you want to respond to say someone playing a rider card. This update allows the player to just completely. Um, skip on their timing window to respond to such action cards. What it doesn't do is it, it won't skip a timing window for you to decide if you want to do something or not in it, right? So let's say, um, you know, sticking with the example of the agenda phase, um, you won't be able to just auto pass on your when and after timing window. So you'll still have to pass in those timing windows indicating that you don't want to play any riders, right? For example, so the auto pass is basically auto pass for responding to um, when action cards are played. I think this, uh, this has been a long time in the, in the works. It's been a constant kind of like I guess feedback, you know, um, being able to speed up the process of, a, of an asynchronous game is probably the biggest concern here with this. Um, so, yeah, you know, that's the, this kind of falls out in line with the new uh, way that timing windows are now working as written per rules. So this is kind of the, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, this is kind of like the second big consequence of that update. Two rules is written in timing windows. The first was kind of the changes to faction ability of um, ambush. And now we're seeing that we're having the introduction of auto pass configurations. And if you know the trend continues, we should also have another big update coming soon um, related to factions. So, yeah, um, really like the the path we've been on lately, and continue continue on it. I think there's going to be a lot of big updates coming in down the roads. So keep your eyes open. But uh, let's go ahead and jump into this demo game to illustrate uh, the auto <coughs> excuse me the auto pass settings and how they work so we're playing we're playing under um, the player Alice as the necrovirus <coughs> and you can see that um, we have this war machine action card which is the one that allows us to apply um, some extra production um, when one of our units uses production. Now this is a common card that you know is rarely ever going to be sabotaged. So I want to demonstrate the auto pass settings with this. So to do this, let's first get over to that timing window. Let's activate our home system. Let's pass on this ability round. Let's let's not move any units. And now. So we're at the, the timing window to resolve an ability when we use production, which is when we play War Machine. 
Now let's see what the other players, you know, could do in their auto pass settings as, as a as a way of showing how this works. So let's hop over to um, Bob's tab as the Sarl tribes. So you know, let's say we see that this is what this is about to happen. And the way you're going to do this auto pass is you're going to go to your game info tab in your player, in, in your specifically your um, panel, and you're going to see this new fourth blue icon. Uh, it's kind of like a, a loop arrow, and this is the auto pass settings. So we'll click on that, and now you'll see that we have uh, a couple of drop down menus. The first is for when a non-component action card is played. And the second is for when a component action card is played. So we're interested in the case here when a non-component action card is played, because that's what War Machine is. And you'll see we have four options. We have never auto pass. <clears throat> auto pass if no abilities to use. Auto pass until end of action, and always auto pass. And if you click on this blue info icon, you can get a description of what each setting does. So by default, you'll always be on never auto pass, um, which makes sense. Uh, the next one is probably you're going to find is maybe the most common is to auto pass. Uh, only if you have no abilities that can be used. Then auto passing until the end of an action means that, uh, so it's, let's say it's another player's turn, but you only want to pass on things until their turn is over. That's what this will do. So it's going to auto pass on all the action cards played during this person's turn. But then it'll reset to never auto pass when this player ends an action. So it'll go back to the default setting. And then always auto pass is the one you're going to want to be careful with using because um, this will just always pass no matter what um, is the case. So in this particular case, uh, with Bob, let's let's um, make him always auto pass, and then you can save this, and you'll get a little green check mark that shows your settings are now saved. And then over in Charlie's tab, let's go find our info for Charlie. Let's do auto pass until end of action. So now what should happen is because both of the other players have decided to auto pass on a non-component action card, when we play War Machine, the game should skip Bob and Charlie and come back directly to Alice, which is us. So let's do that. And there we see the action cards played, and there you can also see that the game has now asked us to continue on with our timing window. Now, let's for uh, for time's sake, let's go ahead and pass and get to the end of our turn here. So we'll skip production and we'll end our turn. Now going back to the other player settings, so for example, looking at Bob's tab, remember that Bob was always on auto pass no matter what. So going back into his settings tab, that's still the case. However, going into Charlie's auto pass settings, you can now see that before Charlie had auto pass until the turn is ended. And now the setting defaults back to never auto pass. And the same uh, is true, the same settings is true for um, when a component action card is played. You have the same four settings. 
And so that's uh, basically a brief overview of how you're going to access your AutoPass settings and um, how you and how they work. Just to note that, um, take note that these AutoPass settings are unique to each game. So if you're playing in multiple games, you'll have to set your AutoPass settings specific to each game, which is a good thing because you don't want the settings from one game to carry over to the settings of the other. In the future, uh, we might expand this, um, possibly to other types of uh, response windows. But for the start, for the time being, um, this is limited to the two types of action cards. And um, the hope here is that it'll give users a lot more, um, a lot more utility to increase the speed of their games. So, you know, they're not bothered with timing windows that they really want nothing to be to do with. Um, yeah, so, like I said, uh, this is uh, kind of all been a continuation of the development of the rules as written timing windows a couple of updates ago. And um, we're, getting, we're getting pretty close to Like, I guess I would say like a desired game state engine here, right? If you go way back when, um, you know, the app had so many growing pains with optimizing timing windows. Um, and so it's come a long way. And this really here is starting to hit the icing on the cake that's going to bring us closer to, you know, that kind of desirable state. So really like the way this is going here. But that pretty much does it for talking about auto pass settings. There is one other feature of this update, which I'll go to. And it's optimizing when an action card is played timing windows. Basically will never prompt the player to resolve abilities if they don't have instinct training. And we know that all the sabotage action cards are in the discard pile. So that's another uh, timing window optimization there. So yeah, that's gonna do it for this update video. Keep your eyes open. Um, got some, uh, another big one coming down the road um, very, very soon. And also the there are going to be some um, bigger announcements as well that are going to be following in the near future. So keep your ears tuned. But until then, we'll stop this one here and uh, hope you enjoyed it. Enjoy the new features and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.